Hello, citizens of Britannia. This is Ultimo Life Second Age brought to you by a Blaze Spirit. How strong is a nightmare? We are going to ask this question using more mob. We started with mob from the first uh, uh, mob that spawned with treasure maps on, level 1 and level 2. Now we're going for further with level 3, 4, 5, it depends. I have recorded the video and I messed everything up and it turns out the microphone was muted so I'm gonna play the video and comment to it. Yeah, go Blade, the best. Let's see what I'm doing here. Hello, citizens of Britannia. This is... No, oh, hold on. Let me mute it. Too many hellos. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it goes. Yeah. Okay. I think it is working. Okay, we're gonna fight. I'm telling you. We are gonna fight. Let me check. Yeah, we finished with wyverns, which were really dangerous because of deadly poison. We are gonna start with cyclopean warriors, then drakes, then dread spiders, ifrit, ogre lords, ophidian knight errants. Wow, ophidian shamans, terrorist avengers, and dragons. Yeah, it's nice. Here you see the list. Here you can see the list of the mob you're going to fight. Yeah, Dread Spider would be a problem because Dread Spiders only spawn in treasure map level 3 and level 4. So I'm actually have to dig a treasure map to make a Dread Spider spawn. They are low HP but very nasty casters and with um, lethal poison. And lethal poison is not deadly poison, it is actually what it is, lethal. But let's go, let's go. Okay, here is the first uh, Cyclops warrior, Cyclopean warrior, so known as Cyclops. Okay, here the Nightmare shouldn't have any problem. Yeah, you see, I, I think the Cyclops warriors only have uh, high hit points, but they really don't do a lot of damage, not to a Nightmare at least, uh, anyway, because the Nightmares have really high <clears throat> what's it called? Uh, armor rating. Yeah, with a little bit of fire breath and casting spells, yeah, it get wrecked. Yeah, see, almost at full health, it's like 90% health of the Nightmare. One greater reel and the Nightmare is good to go. Now Drakes. Now Drakes are interesting. Let's take a look here. I've singled one out to Death Star here. Otherwise there's many spawning here as well as Dragons. And Drakes have many hit points, they have 400 hit points, but since they spawn with low wrestle, low uh, tactics, they don't really do much damage. And they do damage a little bit with the Fire Breath, I believe, but yeah, aside from that, uh, it's no match. They, they have a good armor rating, but yeah, spells... Yeah, you see the Nightmare is not taking much damage, it's more or less longer fight than Cyclopean Warrior, but the Nightmare is not taking significant damage. Yeah, I believe it will finish at 90%, uh, 85%. <coughs> yeah, yeah, the spells and the fire breath do really can do magic here. Yeah, see the flame strike there, because the nightmare spawn with high imagery and they also have Valint, so many hit points. Here, I should have, I should fight a, um, how is it called, a dread spider according to the list, but I didn't find the red, a dread spider. So I decided to go with Ogre Lord because here in this map I spawned an Ogre Lord. Ogre Lord, now this is nasty. This is a close fight because, okay, the Ogre Lord, no fire breath, no spells, no poison. But this guy has a lot of HPs, a lot of armor rating, and uh, it really does a lot of damage. I think the Nightmare can win, but it's a close fight. Here, if you want to fight Ogre Lords with a Nightmare, the best thing you want to do is casting protection on your Nightmare to add, uh, I believe, 10, 10 more points of armor rating, which always uh, is uh, <coughs> useful. And uh, here you can also cast the reactive armor, so every time the Ogre Lord damages the Nightmare, part of the damage is reflected back to the Ogre Lord. 
yeah, here the, the, the fight is close. I mean, this guy hits a lot. I mean, lots of wrestling, lots of tactics, and lots, lots of being hit. Yeah, you can see. Now, the problem is the Nightmare will run out of mana eventually, and um, also the Fire Breath will do less, da will do less damage with low health. But yeah, it's <coughs> still... Um, the Nightmare Steela has an advantage with this mob. I don't know why you you with you you choose to fight this mob, but yeah, it's just uh, just theory because it's slow loot and very very difficult to kill. Even energy vortex takes uh, quite some time to kill uh, ogre lord. Yeah, nightmare is at twenty eight percent. Yeah, this was the toughest so far, uh, and only five hundred gold loot. Yeah, not worth it. Totally not worth it. Now I should find the Dread Spider. Yeah, here is a Dread Spider casting at me. Okay, now you can see it has very low hit points, you see. You see how much damage is the Nightmare doing to it because of low health. But the Lethal Poison kicking in. If, if you don't cure, Lethal Poison can kill the Nightmare in a matter of minutes. Yeah, you see, it's still, still maybe at 90% health, but see how much damage it's taking. 80%. 76 percent yeah 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 that's uh, that's hard too bad because uh, they they give a lot of gold 500 gold pieces almost yeah easy to kill still only found on treasure maps i i don't know why i have memories of finding them at covetous south of uh, elder gazes but maybe later eras okay let's find the ifrit the ifrit basically is just a big a big air elemental, I say. Just a big air elemental. Okay, it can cast some spells. But honestly, it's not no big deal. See, it does a little more damage, but um, than the air elemental. But yeah, it's not nothing. The nightmare cannot handle. Yeah, yeah. Paralyze the fire elemental here infiltrating. Yeah, you see, the Nightmare is at 80%, I believe, if I read it right, 84%. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. This mob is interesting. Unfortunately, it used to give uh, bone, Demon Bone Armor, but it doesn't give bone, Demon Bone Armor anymore. Sorry. Next mob is going to be... <laughs> Ophidian Knight Errant. This is... This is tricky. This is going to be the hardest one for so far, because this guy have millions of HPs, does a lot of damage with that weapon, and it delivers uh, lethal poison. Yeah. This is, I think, the strongest Ophidian. Maybe also stronger than Ophidian Avenger. I'm not sure. Let's check. Okay. See, the Nightmare is doing damage, but not much damage. And okay, now begins to spasm uncontrollably, meaning lethal poison. Yeah. Okay, you, you can see it has an advantage, but once the poison kicks in, yeah, it starts to get difficult. Yeah, now they're even. Yeah, maybe with protection and reactive armor can be easily, e easier, sorry, not easily, can be done. But here I think eventually I heal the, the Nightmare a bit, if I recall correctly, during the video. Yeah, this is too close. Yeah, you can tell, any, anybody can win. It's a matter of uh, maybe the Nightmare casting a Flame Strike or Nibolt, or the other guy swinging three times in a row. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm healing the Nightmare right now. You see, it's redlined. Totally redlined, yeah. This was very close. Very, 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 very close. It was the first mob that the Nightmare couldn't kill. Easily, yeah. These guys are hard. Boy, these guys are these guys are hard. They can drag one of these and they can clean the spawn with this lethal poison and immense uh, hit points. Too bad the potion is only lesser poison. Would have been nice if it was a deadly poison. Okay, Ophidian Shaman going to be easy. Okay, it's a nice caster can do a little bit of damage with casting spells, but low hit, low hit points, I mean, you see, it, it, it's no match for a Nightmare. Low hit points, I mean, yeah, you can do nothing. And I also think low wrestling, so the Nightmare hits it over time. Yeah. Easy peasy. 
easy. Next is going to be Terratan Avenger. These guys are tremendous. They are tremendous caster. They also deliver lethal poison. They have lower hit points than Ophidian uh, um, Knight Errant. And this is uh, the key of killing them with spell, basically, Explo, e -bolt, yeah. But casting and lethal poison and very high damage output, well, they are nasty. Yeah, you see? See, the Nightmare is taking a lot of damage with spells. But fortunately, they have low hit points, and the Nightmare can take care of them. Yeah, these are very nasty. And they are immune to poison, so even if you EV them, they dispel the EV, since they're magical caster, and uh, the EV doesn't land deadly poison on them. So, very annoying. And all these for just 500 gold. Yeah, 36%, 28% here, yeah, close. Close. Very hard. So what else do we have in this video? Maybe the dragon here. Maybe the dragon. Also the Avengers here, Terran Avengers, they speed hack. They speed hack like hell. Where am I going here? Oh yeah, okay, demon. For spawning the demon, I'm going to what's it called? Hedge maze, because there's one single demon spawning at hedge maze, but you have to make it spawn by um, walking on the altar, on the pentagram, sorry. Yeah, here. It's a very quiet place. Not many people know about this. You can make money here. You can you saw me making money here with selling. Easy way to lower title without any interruption. The spawn is a bit slow. I believe I have to kill the RP there for some reason. I don't know if it's related to the demon not spawning. Okay, now here I made the demon spawn. Nightmare not at full health. Let's take it into account. I don't, I don't know if I heal it a bit. Okay, 1G heal to um, simulate it. Demons don't have lots of HPs, but they spawn in, let's say, two fashion. One armed with a weapon, one not armed with a weapon. This guy armed with a weapon, it does a little more damage than the other. But see, I mean, they don't do very much damage with spells, for some reason, not very high eval. And uh, they don't have many hit points, so the Nightmare can kill them easily. One, two, three, they can kill it easily, but you have to heal it a bit. <coughs> Let's see where we are going next. Oh, okay. Dragon. This is going to be tough. Dragons have 800 hit points. Sure, they don't have uh, high majory. Sure, they have zero eval, so they don't do damage with spells, but they do a lot of damage with fire breath and with uh, melee. Here, I used reactive armor and. Um, protection on my Nightmare, and it's going to be a very close fight. The Nightmare has the advantage of Majory, and has the advantage of uh, Eval. But aside from that, maybe the Nightmare also has a little more Dex than a Dragon. A little more Dex. Yeah, I can, I can see the Nightmare swinging faster here, if you can see. Yeah, yeah, it's swinging faster, like 0.25 seconds faster than Nightmare because of higher decks. But yeah, it's very close fight. I mean, there is no way the Nightmare can cope with the Dragon without uh, reactive armor or protection. Here, I'm honestly very surprised that the Nightmare is doing well. And eventually, maybe with the spells, it can take over. Because once at very low health, I mean, one random flame strike or one random e bolt can, can do the difference. Yeah, and reactive armor. You see, every time you see that harm-like thing, it means that uh, some damage is reflected back to the to the dragon. Yeah, and here the nightmare is on the lead, and it's going to kill the dragon, I believe. Yeah, without any single heal, which is amazing to be honest, because considering the nightmare have uh, 500 hit points and the dragons have eight, 800. Both fire breath. I mean, one just just one fire breath of a dragon is forty hit points. I mean, yeah, nasty. And this is nice to be honest. This is really nice to be honest. This is really nice. I think uh, we don't have anything else on this video. Yeah.
Yeah, let me pause it. Yeah, the point is, guys, uh, the nightmare is very strong. And um, there is not a single reason for you not to use a nightmare, because uh, you can ride it. It's like a rideable dragon. I mean, you can use it even without commanding it. You dismount, as we saw in the video that I can link in... Uh, in the description of this video, where you dismount, let the, let the mare aggro the spawn for you without issuing any single command, and, and you're good to go. I mean, the nightmare will take care of it. Make it fight low-end mob, medium-end mob, so how, how good it can handle them, and you're honestly, you're good to go making cash. And it's a great asset to have, everybody should have one. Either you're a tamer and of course you can command it, but if you're not a tamer, come on, you can ride it. We can write it in two ways. Either somebody friends it to you, or somebody releases the nightmare for you to tame. Because once the nightmare is tamed and released, everything once everything is tamed and released, you need zero taming skill to tame it. So you can also stable it. So this is it for this video. In case you missed the the, the first uh, part of the video, I link it in the description below. And uh, I also take advantage of this space telling you that. Uh, in a few days from now, I'm gonna upload three videos per week. Three, three, three. Where is three? Three videos per week, uh, because I wanna do. I wanna make better videos, and I have a feeling that not everybody are able to watch my videos with the, the pace of one video per day. So we're gonna switch to two slash three streaming per week and three videos per week. If you, if you want to find more videos, stay tuned, because uh, here they appear, somewhere, somewhere here they appear at the end of the video. And uh, stay tuned for part 3 and possibly part 4 when we are going to fight the, the best mob in Second Age. Stay safe, citizens of Britannia, and until next time, bye!